feeling like summer here this Thursday, this Friday Eve, 81 degrees, southeast wind 10 miles per hour and the dew point way up at 74. Awfully humid and sticky feeling outside this morning. We will see a few fair weather cumulus clouds drift in from the Gulf of Mexico, but absent from the radar uh, is any precipitation out there. Mid to upper 70s in the brush country, you get closer to the water, find more 80s on the board. And a lot of Texas now in the mid to upper 70s, if not low 80s along the immediate coast. You go to the panhandle, See that change in color there? That's where the front is that we're going to get tomorrow. It's 49 degrees in Amarillo this morning. An area of low pressure is starting to develop at the surface in central Kansas. That's helping to fire off some showers and thunderstorms in the plains. And this spin will eventually shove down this cold front, bringing some cooler weather finally to the forecast. So today we'll be in the 90s this afternoon. Our front comes through and flips the switch. We're going to be in the 60s here tomorrow afternoon in the wake of that front. So some 20 to 30 degrees difference between today's afternoon highs and what we're going to see tomorrow afternoon. The wind today will be uh, breezy and summer like from the southeast. Our prevailing warm wind direction 10 to 20 miles per hour. The winds will relax tonight. And then tomorrow, look at the about face in the winds as that front rolls through 20 to 30 mile per hour, blustery and windy northerly winds with us for Friday afternoon in the wake of that front. Today, temperatures will also be summer like mid to low 90s under sunny to partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow morning is actually going to start out very similar to this morning with partly cloudy skies, upper 70s and low 80s. The main feature though comes in around noontime. We'll see some showers, maybe some thunderstorm activity along the leading edge of this front as it passes through and look at the difference in temperature south of the front. It's at 1130 in the morning, mid to upper 80s north of it mid 60s. So you see the contrast there in temperature by three o'clock. It should be through the entire viewing area. The rain chances will be trending down at that point. And so will the temperatures. A lot of us will be in the 60s as early as 3 tomorrow afternoon, and it'll be windy with those gusty north winds in place. Again, rain chances are mainly going to be focused with the arrival of the front. That's when the timing of the rain will be. And on average, only a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain will fall. So it's not going to be, I don't think, an overly rainy day with this front, but there will be some shower activity as the front does pass through. We'll also see the humidity drop off down to comfortable tomorrow afternoon. Dry here Saturday as much drier air works in on these north winds. These are the three things I think you should know. Some showers as the front passes through 80s Friday morning. 60s Friday afternoon and again those north winds are going to be pretty strong could gust over 30 miles per hour at times and a huge fluctuation in temperature the roller coaster ride on the temperature line here 90s today low 70s Saturday and then back up to around 90 degrees by early next week today 93 way above seasonal normal 103 on the heat index and a breezy southeast wind 10 to 20 miles per hour tonight 77 partly cloudy warm and humid there's the front friday 86 right before it gets in few showers as it passes and then down into the 60s friday afternoon 55 saturday morning 71 and cloudy saturday afternoon we keep the clouds sunday and temperatures do warm into early next week john thomas